Hello everyone, I'm uh, Terry Pike. I'm with a 2006 Suzuki Forenza 2.0 liter engine. And if you've been following the videos, you know that this here has a uh, timing belt broke and it bent some valves uh, in the head. So we're putting the putting this thing back together. What I want to show you right now is I'm cleaning up the lifters here. Uh, if you remember, I took the lifters when I took them out and I just put them in the, you know, some engine oil and then I just set them aside biggest thing for that is just didn't want these things to rust uh, right now I've got them in some carb cleaner and uh, they've been sitting in there for a couple of days and you don't have to do this as far as cleaning them up like I'm doing right now but I was a little bit concerned about the sludge you know being possibly up inside of here then this thing would stick and then I have you know some kind of valves ticking and whatnot so I'm just taking another extra step here uh, what you can do is you can put them in the engine oil, and then when you get ready to uh, put them back together, or put the lifters back in, then uh, basically you can just take them out and uh, put them into a vise where we're going to bleed them. Uh, it seemed like in the old days, back in the 60s and 70s, all you hear was about, you know, putting them in oil, getting them pumped up. And nowadays it seems like uh, the thing, the norm is to actually bleed the oil out and allow the lifters to pump up to meet to the valve stem to take out the uh, take out the, uh, the you know the clearance in there uh, you know I talked to the machine shop about this I actually went down there and had a good conversation with them and uh, the reason is from what he's saying the, the reason you do that is that these here buckets as they're called okay is that these a lot of these are under spring tension okay you know when the valves are open they're under spring tension so that's going to push this here piston down somewhat then when you take the camshafts out it's possible that these here pistons could actually come up a little bit now if it comes up a little bit then you stand a chance that uh, you know it could actually hold the valve open the whole time while the engine is turning over he said he's had a lot of people you know to call in and uh, Tell him that they got a misfire on a cylinder or two, and and uh, so you know they're calling in and thinking that uh, something is wrong with the valve job. Well, it turns out that the uh, you know they never did bleed these lifters, so they put them right back in. You know, with them fully extended under oil. You know, it's got the oil still in there, and you would think that they would uh, okay, they would readjust themselves. But, and I asked the same question, what about when they're extended, you put them back in, then wouldn't they find their spot? He said, no, not necessarily. He said, in most cases, if they ever get extended back out, he said, it would take forever for these things to get back adjusted to, you know, finding their spot. In some cases, he said they won't. So, you know, the recommendation is bleed some of this oil out, and you do that by putting this here in a vise. I'll show you that later. And, uh, you know, you push this here, this here, this inner piston, push it down, and then you, you've got a spring in here. There's a check ball. And basically when you get through, and I've done uh, pretty much all of them. And if, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out in the light so you can see it a little better. But uh, this one here, you can see it's going right on down. And I know that's hard to see, but... Uh, I'll take it out in the light sunlight here so you could probably see it and I'll point out some of the things about it. Okay, I took this outside in the sunlight. Turns out it was just too many shadows and all, so I just got me a light here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. If you look right there on this, I'm pressing on this here uh, piston. I believe they call this an inner piston. This is sliding down, I believe it's like a bore. And if you look at it, I'm going to push down on it. Right, and take a note of the bottom ridge down there, and it's going to go down, and it kind of bottoms out, kind of bottoms out at the bottom down there. Let me get a, another angle here. See it down there? Then it comes back up. There's a spring in here. Should be a check ball. Okay, and that's what I've done is I've taken I bled these uh, the oil out of here. Now you don't have to get every bit of this out. You know, if you can get just a little clearance, maybe halfway down, that's good. Just so you got a little bit of clearance, you can press down on it a little bit. That allow this here piston, when it gets pumped back out, 
it'll go and uh, meet up to the uh, valve stem, you know, the top of it. So that's what I'm shooting for. I'm trying to get all of this, any kind of crud that's inside this thing. You know, I did see a little bit of particles, you know, come out when I was bleeding it. That was coming out of the oil, the oil hole, oil fill hole right here. You should be able to take it and you should be able to free, turn it freely, you know. I had a couple here I turned around I could feel you know you could obviously feel there was some crud and all down in there so after a little bit of cleaning soaking you know they turn pretty free now so you may want to check that so it's always better to say to bleed it down a little bit let the piston come to meet to the valve stem to make the adjustment rather than to take a chance that this could actually be stuck out just a little bit possibly holding your valves open then you could have misfires the machinist actually told me he's known cases uh, I don't think it'll be with this engine but he said that with some engines that with this uh, lifter not being bled down and it, the valves could actually be held open to the point enough that the piston will come right back in there and bend the valves so well, it's all uh, interesting stuff there to know put your, put your rag Fold it over a couple of times. You don't, you know, if, if you, unless you have some uh, flat uh, jaws on your vice. Mine don't. So I just put a rag across the jaw, folded it over a couple of times, put the face of the lifter there on the vice, and then I took me a bolt and I just put right there on this here piston. And of course, the head of the bolt is back out here on the other side of the jaw. Then take the vise and turn it. Turn it just a little bit because this thing is going to be really, really tight to press down. So press it down very slow. Let it give it a few seconds. You know, any kind of oil, you should start to see the oil coming out. See, there's a little bit of oil still coming out of this oil hole right here. Okay. So that's why I'm going to let this thing soak some oil. I'm going to come back. I'm going to press on it. And hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to push this down. See, right now, I cannot... I cannot push this here piston down at all. So we're going to let it soak, like I said, and we'll come back to it later and we'll put it in the vise and we'll compress it a little bit, keep working it back and forth. And, you know, and also another thing, take your nozzle, take your tube that's on the spray, try to get you some, um, now this is if you clean it now. Now, if you if your oil is clean, been changed regularly, you don't need to go through all this stuff that I'm doing. I'm just worried about a little bit of particles and sludge that's up in here so I'm just trying to take another step to prevent any kind of and as I mentioned if you you know if your oil has been changed regularly you know it's clean and it's been taken care of pretty good uh, the previous owners I mentioned I it looks like they didn't do any regular oil changes here so I'm just doing a little maybe a little more preventive assurance here that hopefully I won't have any problems with these here lifters uh, you can like I said put it in your oil let it sit uh, depending on how you know if you go if it's gonna sit for a little while just put it in the oil come back put it in the vise bleed some of the oil out and then just allow this here lift to the pump up then at that point you'll be ready to go and you can drop them back in okay before uh, the last thing on this I thought I would just show you what I'm doing over here to bleed them okay I got me a rag you know you can see my vise here is you know serrated you don't want to be putting this on this machine surface. So get you, I got a rag here. I folded it over a couple of times. And then I'm taking my lifter, putting on one face. Okay. Okay, then as you can see, I got it set up in there now. And what I did is I just took a 3 8 bolt. I took and cut the head off. And I got the smooth part of the shank there. You can see it's pressing down on the, it's lined up on the piston. Okay, the top of the piston, inner piston there. And of course, you can see the other side of it is just stuck right over there on the on the vise. Okay. Now, what you want to do is just take your take your vise, turn it a little bit, and you just kind of let it sit there a few seconds. Let it kind of stabilize. If anything is going to come up out, like the oil or cleaner fluid, and uh, like in my case, call cleaner, and then just come back, give it a little more. Now you're going to find that this thing is going to start really getting pretty tight here. Okay. Now what you want to do is keep a, keep a look out on your piston, see where the travel is at. You know, because you remember this thing is going to bottom out, so you want to look at it. That is really hard to see, I know. 
But, you know, I pointed it out earlier, so you're looking, what I'm looking for is just to uh, try to get this thing to the bottom. When it bottoms out, don't go any further, and then let it back up. And then I'm just going to kind of keep doing that a few times. In your case, you know, you could go to about half the plunger. You don't have to go all the way down. Just go a, nut, a little bit so you can uh, you can feel a little bit of spring tension if you're using the oil. And then, you know, once at that point, you know, you're good. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom. And the only reason, like I said, I'm doing it is because I just want to try to clean out as much of this, any kind of gunk or particle or sludge or whatever that might be, you know, trapped inside, you know, these lifters. So that's, that's what you do. So uh, we'll talk to you later.